Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I was dancing. <laughs> oh. Whatever makes you happy, and that's the whole reason why you're here, right? So, welcome today. Today, we're in for an absolute treat. I have the wonderful pleasure of interviewing the one and only Melanie Watson from Shake It Like a Mama today to talk about breast cancer and how it has impacted her and her lifestyle. So, welcome, Melanie. Hi. Nice to see you. Likewise. So, I'm Melanie from Shake It Like a Mama, and this is a business that I started when I was on maternity leave, and I started off with Baby and Me. So we entered the pandemic and um, I lost my fitness job because of the pandemic. And so Lucas and I started working out together and I had him in the carrier and we were exercising. I thought, how can I incorporate exercise into my life and find time for him, right? Because that's always a hard balance. And so now it's just expanded. So we have Stretch It Like a Mama, which is a yoga based class. And now I teach Zumba. And the baby in me has evolved into toddler in me. So my little toddler, he exercises beside me and he's learning the importance of exercise and staying healthy. I love that. I took some of your classes at the at the beginning of your business um, before Ginevra ended up having school on Saturdays. And I remember how much fun it is, especially having like the baby. In the, it's just such a great moment to bond with your child. And like you say, really teaching them about healthy lifestyle and just setting up those habits. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And the reason why I have Melanie here is because uh, Mel, I know Mel and I, Mel and I, we've known each other for upwards of you know 20, 20 years. years. <laughs> yeah, 20 years since we were babies, right? And I know that when your mom Carol was diagnosed with breast cancer, it was really, really obvious, uh, understandably, you know, um, something that really affected you. Would you be open to talking to us about how breast cancer has affected your life? Yeah. So um, my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 25. And she was in her early 50s. So that was a big shock, you know, because I just thought, how can this happen? She's young. To me, breast cancer was something that happened to older people. Mm -hmm. And in my mind, my mom wasn't old, right? And so it was my last year of university. And I had to really take on a lot of the responsibilities in the home and look after her. So watching her go through all of the treatments was very hard. It was like constant bouts of stress. Is she going to be okay now? Oh no, she's back in the hospital. I need to go, you know? And um, at the same time, I was trying to finish school, get my job going, start my career. And the stress looming in the back of my mind. Mm -hmm. And she was diagnosed again with breast cancer a second time about five years later. And that was, you know, another hard time. So it has greatly affected my life. And then for me, um, I'm now part of the early screening program, early breast cancer screening, screening program at Sunnybrook because of my mom's breast cancer history and because my grandmother also had breast cancer. So now I'm starting to feel the impacts. So that means that I go to Sunnybrook annually for an MRI. I have a mammogram and I have a hands-on exam. And that can cause a lot of anxiety because there are quite a few pulse, pulse of false negatives that come up with this, right? So um, for example, I had an MRI not too long ago and now the doctor's calling me saying they wanna do a biopsy because they're unsure of you know some tissue that they've seen. So it's great that you know I started this early, but at the same time, it does cause anxiety and stress, but I want to continue doing it because you never know when something will pop up. And the sooner you catch it, the better. That's a big share. So thank you for sharing that with all of us. In regards to the anxiety and the mental health aspect of it, do they give you any um, coping mechanisms or resources where you can find, um, you know, uh, aid for that? Not that I know of. There, there must be, but I haven't researched it. Yeah. Do you find that exercise helps? Do oh yeah, for sure. I dance it out all the time. <laughs> That's great. Exercise is my outlet. Exercise is my happy place. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah I, I think As that... you know, you say I light up when I teach. So you do. You <laughs> really, really do. You light up when you teach. Yeah. Like you can just see the 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 passion and enthusiasm that comes through. And it's so beautiful how how you can share that with others because there's so many people out there that have you know anxiety and and are on the verge of you know depression and if it wasn't for something that you're doing like shake it like a mama where they can feel that they can be in their safe space and still dance it out with the community that that's just yeah. a beautiful gift that you're offering so we thank you for your service for that thank you
So with your mom as a breast cancer warrior, has this changed your relationship uh, with her, with you, with you two? Um, when I think when I was living at home, it made us closer, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, we took some trips together and we did a lot of talking and how she was feeling at, at this point in time. I, I think we've drifted apart a bit, right? Just because of circumstance of having a family and stuff. But yeah. definitely after it first happened, it made us made us closer together. We also looked at spending a lot more time together, right? Mm -hmm. Because suddenly, I guess, mortality came into view. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, she's here now. Is she going to survive this? Is she going to fight this? Is everything going to be okay? Yeah. That's a very so, honest, very honest answer. Like very honest. Thank you. Um, do you feel that the dialogue is easier for you to approach? Uh, like to talk to each other about, you know, is, like um, issues like breast cancer? Is it easier? Yeah. Um, I guess so. We don't really talk about it much now. Okay. It's just kind of that's the past and she's moved on. Mm -hmm. um, when she was sick, we were just talking about like, I, I guess she needed help, like how she was feeling. So no, we didn't really talk about breast cancer per se. Okay. I don't, I don't think so. Would it be safe to say that breast cancer was just a chapter of her life, but doesn't define her. So she wanted to move yeah. on from it. Yeah. I, yeah. I, and yeah, I mean, I, for sure. I, and also because of the chemo, you know, I think one of the, the biggest challenges she had was her heart. And so for her to be a warrior for that, you know, was a big challenge. The doctor said to her, your heart's never going to be the same. And, and she fought it. She said no. And she actually, she exercised. <laughs> She got an elliptical and she started exercising every single day, just a little bit at a time, working her way up. And um, she improved her heart, something the doctor said that she wouldn't be able to do. <laughs> That's amazing. That is so inspiring. So inspiring. And I know, I know Carol also joins your, your classes too, right? <laughs> During the time that I'm She seen does. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does the toddler and me class. I think yeah. she likes to see her grandson. <laughs> Get some exercise on it She's too. coming back to Zumba soon. Amazing. She's just getting over a cold, but she'll be back in Zumba. <laughs> Amazing. So I have one more question for you, Mal. One is that compared to before your mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and had to go through her, her fight and won, do you feel that your outlook of healthy living from back then and now are different? And if so, how so? That's a hard question to answer because before she was diagnosed, I was living at home. So the food I ate was whatever my mom gave me, right? Mm -hmm. And then when she had cancer, she uh, she was strict with me and she said, you need to cook these type of dishes. You want to, I want to have beans in one dish. I want to have fish in another. And so she would hand me these cookbooks and say, go pick it three recipes a week. And so from that, I started to learn, okay, how do I meal plan? How do I have a balanced diet? because I now had to do all the grocery shopping and all the cooking for the household. So um, I think I was too young really mm. to make these big decisions about healthy, healthy eating beforehand. Like I had an idea, but then once I moved out, it's like, okay, so now this is how I do it. I need to meal plan and look for these types of recipes. I need to make sure there are this many vegetables. I have to make sure I get my fruits and veggies in throughout the day. I have to make sure that, you know, I still have my cookies on the side. <laughs> I need my treats. Um, I think it's all, all a balance. Now, do I eat like this in order to prevent breast cancer? My answer is no, because my healthy living is my lifestyle. So that comes into my exercise. It comes into the food I eat, right? So it's not just, okay, the breast cancer is in the back of my mind. There are so many different diseases out there that I want to be preventative in every which way. Thank you so much for taking the time today to share with us your uh, breast cancer journey and um, all the best with the MRI coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Call me if you Sounds like a lot of fun. The best part is I get to take the drugs to go in the MRI so I can be, you know, sedated. <laughs> get a nice nap Always in looking there. at the positive. I love it. Always looking at the positive. <laughs> so Mel, please share with us how can our viewers find you to contact you for your classes? I can be found 
at Shake It Like a Mama on Instagram and Facebook. And if you follow me there, then you can see some tips on um, eating healthy and tips on exercise and how to incorporate exercise into your day. So Perfect. yeah, hope Wonderful. to see you there. Oh, by the way, did I mention my classes are online? Or did you mention that? I did, they're, but that's they're a online really good recap. You did. Yeah, yeah, it's super convenient. So convenient. You don't have to find a sitter and your kids could do it with you. It's really, and they're really, really, really fun. Thank All you. right. Thank you so much, Mel. Thanks. We'll see you in the next time. Bye. Bye.